Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're in Movie Studio 16 Platinum, and we're going to do a quick teaching tutorial about how to create a uh, chalk writing on a chalkboard uh, effect. So first, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a picture of a chalkboard, and you can just drop that in your video file here from your project media. And uh, when you got a picture of a chalkboard, then that is the first and biggest step. An optional thing is getting some sort of a pin or chalk kind of sound effect. Anything that has that kind of writing surfacey sound uh, will work. And so uh, where I got these is the YouTube audio library has a very poor uh, audio library for sound effects, but there are a few things here you can grab that, that may help you. And then uh, websites like thefont.com, I'll link it below, have all sorts of of have all sorts of chalk type fonts. Uh, when you install the fonts, make sure that, you know, if it's for personal use or business use, that you've got the license squared away. And there's all sorts of websites where you can search to find one that has a license that meets your needs and looks like you want it to look. Uh, when you found a font that looks chalky enough for you, um, the next kind of step is to go ahead and download it, install it. When you open it up, you'll have to extract the file and then once the file is extracted then you'll click on it and then hit install in the top of the window and then your font will be installed now I say all that to say you have to do that before you open movie studio if you open movie studio first and then install the font it will not be there you have to close movie studio and then reopen it for it to find the new font that you've installed so once your fonts installed then we're ready to rock first take this picture and picture track right click and delete the track and when you go to your media generators tab, usually we would use titles and text, but you're going to need to use your legacy text. Now, a lot of you are thinking, oh gosh, I do not see this right here. I'm going to link a tutorial. I just released a tutorial, and uh, if you're subscribed to me, you've already seen it. Um, but the tutorial is how to add legacy text back. We're not going to cover this right now, but you might need to do it because there's a bug where adding custom fonts doesn't always work in movie studios. This is fixed for Vegas Pro 17. It's not fixed in movie studios yet, so you have to add this back. You have to do it a special way, and I have a whole video on that. So we get legacy text back and go ahead and drop in two legacy texts, one on top and one on bottom. Now, with the legacy text, you go ahead and just type in what you want. I'm writing. And then when you select whatever generated media button, if you select the top one, you're on the top one. If you select the bottom one, you're on the bottom one. Um, but it's this button right here on a chalkboard. So we're going to go back to the top one and we're going to go to placement and we're going to move this up. A little bit right here this this works just like the placement thing over here it just isn't overlaid on the preview window when you're working with the legacy text editor all you people who have been using the software for a long time you're probably thinking oh man I love this little text editor it's actually I am sold that it's not as good as the new one but it's still you know it's got a couple of things that just haven't been um, fully fully added to the new one yet so uh, now we have this simple little effect, and now we're because we're in the legacy editor, we're going to be able to use this um, custom text I've added, which is simple chalk. Um, and whatever you've got highlighted will will change. You can see right here, I had that highlighted, and I didn't have board highlighted. So um, let me go back to simple chalk, and then let me go to the top one. And then I can, you can go to your font on this one as well. All right, so now we've got a chalkboard kind of writing, um, but it's not. It's not um, looks like it does not look like you're writing on a chalkboard yet. Well, first we're going to shorten this bottom one. We're going to go line by line, and we're going to add. We're going to grab the top right hand corner, add a fade, and that fades. We're going to add a transition, and we're going to go to the transitions tab, and you're going to go to linear wipes, and you're going to add a linear wipe right here, and you can do this in a lot of ways. But with the default one, it's already going to work because it's going from left to right. That's the most important part. 
and how fast it does it depends on how long of a fade you have and so that's how you adjust the speed I'm gonna add a touch of an angle to it to where as you can see it, it kinda has more of a top to bottom and that's gonna feel a little bit more like riding and I'm gonna get rid of the feather and that has a bit more of a riding feel to it now this is a perfect riding letter to letter but it's gonna have this left to right scratch on the top board feel to it and then what you want to do is you want to save this because you're probably going to be doing this a lot so go ahead and save it you can type in a name right here and click on this floppy drive and when you that saves the preset so then when you add the same linear wipe to your next one you can just go to your preset and you don't have to do anything else and then when you watch it back you get the writing on the chalkboard effect and an easy way to kind of sell that effect a little better is to go ahead and go ahead and add your pin writing effect or whatever kind of kind of uh, sound effect you decided to go with and use it uh, have it start when it writes which will be about there and have it end when it's done writing so kind of it'll be tucked in the middle of your little transitions there and then that'll give you a bit more of a chalkboard feel and and there you go that's writing on a chalkboard you can always kind of lower the opacity just a little bit if you want it to kind of have a little more bleed through so that is how to use the legacy editor to uh, use a custom font and then with that custom font um, make a writing on a chalkboard effect. So I hope you're able to use this in your videos and thank you so much for subscribing. I'm really super happy with uh, the, the way this channel is growing. It's part of the 50 videos and I'm working hard to catch up on that. And this is how uh, any anything you buy through my affiliates links helps us out a ton. If you're new to the software, I highly recommend checking out my Udemy course where we go through uh, three separate projects together and you not only learn the software but you also learn some editing theory as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. A special thanks to my patrons from Patreon including the patrons you see listed here.